Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Forgotten City. Now a little disclaimer here before we get the video started. If you hear any weird noises in the background, and that's my puppy dog Otis chewing on his toy. He's an English bulldog, so he grunts, snorts, snores when he sleeps, makes all kind of noises. <laughs> so sorry about that in advance. I'll do what I can in the editing to hopefully remove some of that. But if you hear it, that if you hear some weird, weird noises, that's what that is. <laughs> But, uh, hey, if you remember last time we discovered how to get that treasure that that golden statue was blocking, that golden statue was sitting in front of the door, we had to break the golden rule. Then when the statue came to life, we could go in there and get it. Also, uh, we went and talked to the philosopher and figured out how to maybe persuade the god of the underworld to, um, to, bleh, uh, the god of the underworld how to sorry about that i had to turn my fan on it's pretty hot in this room um you know maybe abolish the golden rule so you know these people can be free we can be free and these people can be free so um yeah let's uh oh boy let's go ahead and go back in here and do this and hopefully we'll be successful um this has to be nervous right yeah. Oh, back into space. Where am I at? I can't see. Ah, the light. Oh. That's so weird, dude. Golly. Ah, don't stare at the walls. Hey, are these guys watching me? Oh, they are. He's watching me from over here. Hey, bro. <laughs> this is crazy cool. I wonder what's over there. Like, so there's there's like a forest over there. Is that the city? No. Like, how is this? This is nuts. Like, so that is the world back there, right? This giant dome. That's the Forgotten City. Oh, well, there's a spaceship. Is that a spaceship? I think it's a spaceship. Looks like a spaceship. Must be a spaceship. Wow. And there's a door over there. Just a door. Just don't mind. Oh, he caught me. And here. Oh, I would have been through this. Allow me to introduce myself. Yes, 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 yes. I just want to get to the dialogue. We've heard this all before. There will be time for first. Ha! Huh. All right. So we say first as a reward on going to scrape. Uh, ah, undoing the description of my obelisk. I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. That's what you will. Ha! <laughs> See this? For Serpentus crown. Let's throw it. I, I would recognize that anywhere, and yet my beloved still wears hers. What is this? How did you come by it? I took it from her after I killed her in another timeline. <laughs> oh no. Despicable creature. Why would you do such a thing? And worse still, boast about it. Oh, uh, let's see. I could do this all day in the Golden Rule, or I will. I didn't want to kill her, but if you don't put it into the Golden Rule, I will do it again. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's go with this one. You, you have put me in an impossible position. If I refuse, you will murder her. And yet, if I agree, I will lose my wager and return to Elysium humiliated and alone. Um, well, that's, that's the idea. Perhaps you are cleverer than you appear. I do not see that I have a choice in your treachery and savagery have opened my eyes like nothing I have witnessed in three thousand years. And now you have shown me your species' true colors. And I see that Persephone was a fool to have ever been within you at all. This has gone on too long. It's time for me to let go of this form of her, of all of you. But know this, if I abandon the way Jenny I'm cool with that. Um, 
Yeah, we just want to return to the world. I don't give a crap about Elysium. Hmm. Very well. I will have Karen make arrangements to bury the others. And as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. Um, why? Once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this moment will never have taken place. And you will have created the past. Ah! What will become of you is difficult to predict, but that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural flow of time. Now, are you ready? Oh, I was kind of hoping he would let us explore around this place, but yeah, I'm ready. You would best pray our paths never cross again, mortal. Well, they won't, because you'll be on Elysium. So, so he's a god of the underworld. Okay, a Herculean task completed. So what now? What's gonna happen now? Whoa! What? Al? Is this the temple? Whoa! So we're back in our. That's Al! Oh, this is the temple because that's where the obelisk was, where the fire is. Let's talk to Al. Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fray. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Uh, huh. Al Worth, I came in here to find you. Well. Here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Bill. Bill, I was hoping you'd know... You'd know who I am. No, I'm just Bill. Oh, did that lady in the forest send you in here after me? I guess I lost track of time. Learning about the history of this place, and it is extraordinary. I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. Fortunately for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius. Huh inscribed an account into a tablet. Apparently, there was a community of 20-something people trapped in here and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Rule. They believed that if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold, like the thousand people who'd lived wow. here before them. <clears throat> now, one day, just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the Shrine of Proserpina, an oracle appeared and told him how to solve the ills of the city, like saving the life of a dying... Hey. Preventing the suicide of a man hey. in death bondage, freeing a falsely accused hey. prisoner, foiling an assassination yeah. attempt, and so on. Meanwhile, the oracle walked up to the temple of the mysterious god, this one right here, and demanded an audience. And the doors just opened up to him. Nobody knows what went on in there, but Galerius wrote the oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus. Because the next thing he knew, the ground shook and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. Unfortunately, Galerius' account just sort of stops after that, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. What became of him and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? Huh. And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? <laughs> These Romans are crazy. That's cool. So, like, Galerius left a record of everything that we did. Huh. Wonder what kind of record there would be if we didn't do all those things. Um, sounds a bit far fetched. These don't. Uh, let's just say, actually, that was me and see what happens. Uh, what? Oh, I see. For a moment there, I thought you were serious. <laughs> anyway, I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. Alright. Oh, we don't get to look around? I wanted to look around. I wanted to look around the space area too, but the game just said no. Why would it do that? What would happen if we shot the god of the underworld with the gold bow? Would he turn to gold? What if we shot Charon? Would they turn to gold? What if we just stopped for surfing around when we walked in? Would she die? Oh. I go 
go back. No. I wonder if... Is this what Scintilla was talking about? Where she was locked in the upper cistern? Oh. I wonder if we... Let her free, would we be able to escape? Very, 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 very interesting. Oh, look! <laughs> He's blocking it up. I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever going into this temple. <laughs> yeah, good idea. You go on ahead. I'll be there soon. Oh, I was about to say, can we go back in? Oh, look, it's, it's like daytime now. Let's go see... Well, we know it's not Karen. We learned that it's Kiran. The ferryman. I wonder if she's still here. Wow, where is this place, man? This is great. Oh, look. Oh, she's still there. This is cr Is that a boat? Can I go in the water? Can I? Oh, it won't let me. Alright, let's go talk to the ferryman. You're back. But you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? <laughs> ah, I found him. He'll be here in a moment. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. I was beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered while we wait? Huh, I discovered your real name is Charon, or was it Curdy? I discovered the ruins of the ancient underground city. Yeah, let's do this one. Whoa! Uh, I see. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. Yeah, why are your eyes red? You can just call me Charon, if you like. I am sorry I was not completely honest with you. You got a bug in your head. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned, from 5,000 years of experience, that most people find comfort in familiarity, in gradual change, and coming to see the truth in their own time. Well, uh, what's that truth? That you died, of course. You were dead when I brought what? you. My role. As the servant of the god of the underworld, has always been to assist the chosen to cross the threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. Whoa, yeah, how did I die? Hmm. Usually, when people do not remember how they died, it is because they suffered a terrible trauma. Most souls would rather not remember. Ask yourself honestly. Do you really want to know? Uh, yeah. As you wish. You no. were murdered. You made a purchase in the marketplace. And the change you received was, by mistake, a single silver coin of ancient origin. You were seen inspecting it. And soon after, you were set upon by two thieves. The shopkeeper who had given you the coin saw the scuffle break out. And left to your aid. Huh. You both fought bravely, but your assailants were armed, and you were not. There was nothing you or your ally could have done. He died instantly at the scene, and you followed a few hours later. That man's name was Al. Whoa, he was Warren. a shopkeeper? You were each in possession of a sacred coin, called Karen's Opal by some. And so it was my duty to bring you here. Whoa, were those... But uh, how... So hold on, like, no one else came after... Like, were me and Al, like, had the last two coins or something? Because... Was it Rome the last time people... So weird. Yeah, what's so special about these coins? Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans bearing their dead with a coin in their mouths to pay the ferryman for passage across the river. Yeah. Well, those stories contained a seed of truth. 
but not any coin would do. A long time ago, my master created a thousand silver coins and had me distribute them across the world. My orders were simple. Whenever a person died in possession of a coin, I was to locate them and ferry them here. Huh. That is a question you would have to ask him, if that were still possible, in light of the path you have chosen. I am just his servant, doing his bidding. Only now, I find myself bereft of purpose. You see, the coins on you and Al were the last of the thousand in existence. Wow. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After 5,000 years, the underworld has finally run its course. Huh. Yeah, can you return us? I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see you. You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again. Kinda lost track huh. of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an oracle who confronted a god and undid an ancient curse. Sounds like quite a story. And I look forward to hearing all about it. But you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization? Sure. Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? No. All right. Charon, Ferris home. Let the end. One year later. Oh, what the hell? Where are we at now? Can I get out of here? Hey, bro. You not watching me? What has happened to your face? This one's got a nose. This one doesn't have a nose. What the hell's going on there? Oh, that's a lion? And a man sticking his hand at the lion's butt, and he has an uncomfortable face? And a horse licking the lion's ear, making him more uncomfortable? Don't even want to know what's going on there. Who's this? Oh. Who are you? Oh, it's hey, Al! You made it. It's great to see Hold you. Hold his hair and he's a brand new After man. After everything you've been through, I thought you might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet. And I found something strange. I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you. I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. Okay. can't push play. What was he looking at? An ancient Roman statue of an unknown man in an inscrutable pose. One hand seems to welcome, the other seems to warn. To warn? Warns, okay. Oh, what? <gasps> You're finally here. Remember me? Galerius? What the? Uh, yeah, what are you doing here, buddy? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Callan appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. He even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only, for some reason, she returned us to your world what? instead of ours. Anyway, I know we only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance. So are they all here? Oh, I used Karen's gift to buy a farm in Umbria. Got a villa on it too, with enough room for doing. Do of we? It's hard work, but I sleep soundly every night. I'm finally my own man, and I, I wouldn't change it for the world. Wow, you're with. Oh yeah, Equitia. He liked Equitia. Oh, they I are. I can't believe my luck either. But we're engaged and living together. We're planning to get married next spring. If you're going to be around, we'd love to see you there. 
Oh, I love that boy. You can count me in. Of course. There's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to thank you. So you better keep moving. We'll speak again soon, my friend. Oh, Dooley! Is this Equitia? You're here. It's lovely to finally meet you. Galerius told me all about you. Yeah, good to see you. So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. I'm just teasing. Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this, I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. Huh. Yeah, what are you up to? Galerius and I are engaged, and... Is she pregnant? We've just bought a lovely villa in the countryside, with room for a large family. And Dooley, too, of course. It feels like the world has just opened up for us. There's so much to learn, and so many more possibilities for our children than we ever imagined. Huh. I'm so thankful for what you did for us. For all of us. Yeah, what about Olivia? Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She recovered nicely. In fact, she's here somewhere. If you'd like to ask her yourself. I'll do it. See you at the wedding, I hope. I'll be there, girl. What you wearing? Well, you got some clothes. We living on a farm. What's up? There he is. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Hey, Dooley. Hello. I'm Dooley. I remember you. Galerius said you're very nice and a big help. Thank you for getting us out of the bad place. I didn't know. Yeah, what you doing? I live at Galerius and Equitia's house. They look after me now and help me remember when I forget things, like brushing my teeth. Treasure? Oh, I forgot about that. I like my box. Galerius got me a box that tells stories. It's my favourite huh. thing. Bye -bye. Yeah, his treasure. We never did find his treasure. That's Elia. You're. You're the Oracle. Nah, I'm Bill. Right? Oh, of course. Sorry. And I never got a chance to thank you for telling Galerius how to save my life. And of course. Getting me, and all of us, out of a terrible situation. Oh, we got a lot to talk to her. I see. What are you doing with yourself these days? Oh, I barely recognize myself. I'm living in a house share in London with my wonderful girlfriend. And I'm studying English at university. Eventually, I want to travel the world and write about it. Turns out, it's about 30 times bigger than the Roman Empire ever was. Did you know there are entire continents Rome never knew existed? And you can travel almost anywhere in an aircraft, which is rather like flying on a Pegasus, but much more comfortable. <laughs> oh, sorry, you already know all that, of course. I'm just so excited. There's so much to see and learn and write about. Uh, yeah. I have noticed people from your time have no idea how fortunate they are. I hope to change that <laughs> one day. Whatever happened to Maliolius and Claudia? Last I heard, Maliolius kept insisting he was the last rightful ruler of the Roman Empire and wound up being committed to a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> As for Claudia, she was always so viciously unhappy. Someone said she'd blown all her money on wine, trying to drink herself back to the underworld. After the horrific way they treated Ulpius and me, I can't help feeling a sense of... What's that German word? Schadenfreude? I don't know what that means, but uh, I think you're allowed to feel that way. Thank you. You're very kind. Uh, whatever happened to Aurelia? Ugh. Someone told me she was boasting about getting her claws into some rich prince. And how she was going to be living the high life from now on. Even in your time, life still isn't fair. Apparently he'd proposed before they'd even met. 
And last I heard, she'd bought herself a first-class one-way ticket to join him in some exotic place called... What was it? Nigeria? <laughs> some people have all the luck. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Seth feels like she's gonna get what she deserves. Well, you are the Oracle. So I suppose I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I feel better already. Thank you. Alright. You too. If you're ever in London, let me know. We can go to bars and drink wine and listen to the stories of the nine million people who live there. Yep. I hope so. Oh, it's Lucrezia. You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. Well, she's going to cross her. Hey, Lucrezia. Lucy is fine. Hello. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. If the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never That's leave true. us alone. Speaking of which, I wanted to say thank you in person. I'd say the gods smile on you, but I hear you drove the last of them off. So... Yeah, what are you doing these days? I'm studying to get into medical school. As much as I resented the responsibility of keeping everyone in the city alive, when it ended, I realized I missed it. So I guess I'll just keep saving the world, if begrudgingly, one patient at a time. <laughs> she looks worried about that. You too. Don't be a stranger. Oh man, who's this? Hey. Oh hey baby. So girl? <laughs> Hi there, I'm Horatius. Oh, this is Horatius? A Horatius? We have you to thank for giving us a second chance for life. And reuniting Centilla with us as well. So, thank you. What you doing? I'm living up north and studying in the military academy in Modena. I'm going to be an officer one day. The world's changed a lot. But some things stay the same. Would you believe we're still studying military tactics from my time? Alexander the Great, Caesar, Hannibal Barker. Still, I have to keep challenging myself to let go of old ways of thinking and embrace the new. Yep. As Seneca wrote, the ones who pioneered our past aren't our masters, but our guides. Yeah, I'm sorry you never got to see your girl again. Ah, oh, you remembered that. Thank you. I grieved for a time. Oh, well, that's but true. He had a daughter. In the words of Epictetus, as those who rode behind triumphant generals remind them they are mortal, remind yourself your precious one isn't one of your possessions, but something given for now, not forever. Wow. Thanks. I, I forgot he had a little girl. He's not my... I see what you did there. Good one. He had more trouble adapting huh. than most. He got himself disqualified from the <laughs> sea. So he started some kind of underground blood sport tournament. Like we had in Rome. Suppose it appealed to people's baser instincts. And they say he made some good coin, killing a bunch of men like that. But his luck finally ran out. And his life along oh. with it. You know what they say. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Yeah. You're not wrong. And you. I will. Dang, dude got killed in his own thing. Hey, you backpack? I ain't got my flashlight no more. What's up, girl? I take it you're the Oracle. Thanks for coming. Good to see you again, Cynthia. Evening. Actually, I changed my name to Cynthia. That's... I didn't want to be associated with Centius. After what happened, huh. I'm not sure if you heard, but after you drove Pluto off, Persephone emerged from the Great Temple. She knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little sister locked up in the upper cistern all that time. Huh. But he's been dealt with. He's. Uh, you know what? The important thing is, we'll never what see What happened him again. to him? Well, let's let's ask. Let's go in order. Say, so what are you doing with yourself these days? Anything I want. I'm a woman of means in a vast new world. 
I can go wherever and do whatever I please. Huh. Of course, I mostly just stay in my villa and have my servant Alexa summon things for me. Because it's just awful out there. Barbarians <laughs> everywhere. Alright, what happened to Cynthius? He's still there, all alone. The last golden statue what? in the world. Trapped in a metal shell, slowly losing his mind until the end of time. Eternal torment. Just what he deserves, if you ask me. I see. He did once tell me he wanted to live forever. <laughs> then I suppose he got his wish. You too. See you around. Wow! So he got turned into a statue, and he's still down there. Oh, me and Al would have explored. We could have found him. And hey, it's Georgius. Hello. Greetings. You must be the legendary Oracle. It is a sincere privilege to finally make your acquaintance. I am Georgie. He's just a happy dude. I am told we have you to thank for freeing us from Hades. And for that, I am most grateful. I am reacquainting myself with Greece. It has changed so much over the last 2,000 years, I barely recognize it. This is at once heartbreaking and thrilling. Perhaps... One day, once I have seen all of this new Greece and sampled her delights, I will settle down in Sandorini in a villa overlooking the Azure Aegean Sea. Mm. I hope you will join me there and regale me with the story of how you faced off against the fearsome god of the underworld and won. Sure will, buddy. You too, my friend. Oh, it's uh, Fabia. You're the one we've been waiting for. I'm Fabia. Hi. I wanted to say thanks for sending Galerius to save my life. I don't know how you knew, but I would have been crushed by that shrine for sure. That's crazy, so they still have all their memories of that place. I'm just so happy to be here with you and everyone together again, even if it's just for one more night. Let's see, what are you doing with yourself these days? Well, not like I have to work with all the silver Karen gave me, so I just do Dang, how much me money? Mostly that means baking for my friends and looking at memes while binging TV shows in yoga pants. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Basic. Thank you. I really am. You too. Who's this? Oh, the Hermit Philosopher. And here you are. It's wonderful to see you again. Oh, does he remember us? Oh, and by the way, I go by Philip now. A fine Greek. Philip's name. Greek? I never thought I'd leave that cave, let alone the sea. And now I'm living in the 21st century. What a time to be alive. And it seems I have your catabasis to thank for. I'm working as a consultant to the Faculty of Classics at Cambridge University, helping fill the odd gap in huh. knowledge. Not that I need the money, but I do love being around enlightened minds again. Oh, that's right. He was Greek, because he was there like 10 or 12 years before the Romans showed up. Living underground. That's crazy how he survived underground. Let's see. Do you still think Utopia is out of reach? Aha. Uh -huh. You remember that? I have to admit, I have been profoundly impressed by the advances humans have made these past two millennia. The sum total of human knowledge available at our fingertips, miraculous modern medicines, and a series of prosperous democracies. That's Your what you want to call have come further toward utopia than I ever thought possible. Though, there's still yep. a way to go. It was good to see you, buddy. My sincere thanks once again. Oh. Some swallow. Oh. <laughs> Please keep off the furniture. Ah, oh, hello at last. You must be the oracle I've heard so much about. I'm Dacius. <laughs> Hi. Listen, I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I'd never been able to sell all those useless old relics I accumulated. Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy man. Thank you. <laughs> 
Most gracious of you. See, so, yeah, what are you doing yourself these days? I took the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock market. That's where the real money is now. In fact, I was hoping to ask your advice. You being the oracle and future seer and all that, on which stocks I should invest in next. I can't decide between fossil fuels, tobacco, gambling and arms. What would you recommend? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, man, okay. Oh, don't be like that. You can tell your old pal, Tasius. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> DVD rentals have a bright future. Broadcast television is going to be the next big thing. Print media is going to make a huge comeback. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I'll go home and buy up as much stock as I can tonight. I'm going to make a bloody fortune. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Don't let me keep you. Thanks again for the tips, my friend. Still as greedy as ever. Who's that? Who's this? Good evening. Oh, Octavia. I forgot about her. Oh, hello. It's lovely to meet you. I've heard so much about you. I'm thankful that you're here. I was sure the person who drove off the last pagan god would have more important things to do than visit the likes of us. But thank you for coming and for saving our lives. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. Yeah, what are you doing with yourself? I'm living in Rome again, in a charming little flat by the Tiber. Um, not far from my huh. place. Oh, and I'm training to be a crisis counselor. Hmm. After you sent Galerius to persuade Ulpius not to take his own life, I was inspired. I just want to spend the rest of my life helping people, like you helped him. Well, that sounds good. Thank you. That means a lot. Later. And you. Oh, and I hope this isn't too forward, but some of us are going out for a drink after this, if you'd like to join us. You Wonderful. asking me out. I'll see you soon. I'm on to you. Oh, this is Livia? Greetings. Oh. It's good to see you, <laughs> Livia. Thank you for your kind words and Hello there. for liberating us all. In all the time I was in the underworld, I never once imagined that I might end up in a place so much like Elysium. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm recovering. Octavia was kind enough to let me stay with her for a while. At least until I'm well enough to be independent Don't you have again. money? No! Were you to good poems? Ah, you remember that. I'm a little tired of Ovid, but that's all right. I have 2,000 years worth of poetry to catch that's up on true. now. I'm already up to the 19th century, and am quite enjoying the work of a fellow named Poe. I think I may have found a kindred spirit. Men have called me mad. But the question is not yet settled whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence. Yeah. Good. <laughs> and you. Farewell, friend. Alright, who else is there? Is Opius? Who's this? Uh oh! Douchebag Kabosh. <laughs> oh, I'm still angry. It is an honor to finally meet you. What's he? What he got a Mad Max jacket on? Look at this thing. <laughs> you know my name. Oh, of course. You are an oracle. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your role in bringing us here. This world is truly wondrous. Huh. Yeah, what are you doing? For a time, I returned to Alexandria, but they have no need of another fisherman. And I came to see there is nothing for me there. Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack the world. It is a great adventure, and I have met many people from many cultures. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 42 sins that would deny me access to the afterlife. Now, I think it is time I had some fun. Yeah, buddy, you earned it. Indeed. Thank you, Oracle. 
That's OP. Is that Scintilla? Talk to them in a minute. Who's this? Rufius and Virgil, huh? Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Rufy. I go by Rufus now. You start your name. Oh, and uh, thanks, by the way, for what you did. Sorry, I'm no good with the mushy stuff. <laughs> I live with Virgil in Rotterdam, not far from where he grew up. It's very modern. Destroyed in the war more than he did. He built itself. Good place for a fresh Rotterdam. Start. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my life yet. One adjustment at a time. Ah, uh, see, it turns out you were right. The statues really were watching us. Huh. Good to know. Anyway, it was good practice for the new world. Security cameras and smartphones everywhere. Got to stay vigilant. <laughs> mm. <laughs> You too. Yeah, okay. Look us up next time you're in that the isn't the Netherlands. I'm we're grateful. Yeah, because that's where Virgil was. From where where he was from. It's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you. I wanted to thank you personally for getting us out of there. And for helping Rufus come to terms with himself. He may come off a little gruff, but once you get past that, he's a lovely fellow. I'm studying to be an architect ah. again, and living with Rufus in a beautiful flat in Rotterdam, just down the river from Nijmegen, where I grew up. Of course, it's improved immensely since I was there last. Gleaming futuristic buildings and clean streets, full of educated, accepting people. You natives of the 21st century have no idea how fortunate yeah, you are. Yeah, I know. You too, as Rufus said in his own laconic way. If you're ever in the Netherlands, we'd love to show you around. It's the least we could do. So I guess they became a couple. Game doesn't just want to say it. Let's talk. Oh. Hello there. Hi. Oh, I go by Gabriella. Why? Now. I didn't want to be reminded of that monster every time That's I heard true. my own name. After you drove Pluto off, Proserpina came and released me, and that monster got what was coming to him. Yep, sorry. Don't worry. Nobody did. I'm living with Ulpius on Aww. a little vineyard in Umbria. It's even more wonderful than I dreamed it would be. I'm so grateful to you for making sure he's still with us. If you're ever passing through the region, I hope you'll come and visit us. You can try some of our very own wine. Sure, I'll drink it all. Thanks. Umbria. Our Umbria. Wasn't that where Galerius and Equitia were? Let's talk to old Opius. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. I'm Opius. Change your name. I understand I have you to thank for sending Galerius to save my life. The way you just showed up out of the blue and stopped me from making a terrible mistake. I'll be forever in your debt. I'm living with Gabriella in Umbria. We finally bought the little vineyard we always huh. dreamed of. It'll be a little while before we know what we're doing, but every day I look at her and this extraordinary new world with all its beauty and I think, what if I'd given up hope? Missed out on all of this. Yeah. So we're living each day to the fullest. And we end them all the same way, sitting together on our terrace with a glass of our wine, which the locals say is almost drinkable now, and watching the sunset over the rolling hillside. And I couldn't be happier. Yeah, you see, buddy, tomorrow's always better, no matter what you're going through. Thank you. I wouldn't be here without you. You too. Oh, good for Opius. Well, that's everybody. Let's see.
A Latin plaque which reads, All must walk this path to where the laws of day help the virtuous to paradise in the city beneath the earth. The ravenous hunger of the avaricious, of the avaricious, well, la, 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 of the avaricious, I don't know how to say that, is sated at the banks of the stream, but in vain, for none from here may return. Oh, is this like the stuff we found in the city? Yeah. Oh, there's the carving. Archaeological. This block of wood has an. Was it? Ichthy? Ichthy? Carved? I don't know how to say that. A Greek symbol adopted by early Christians as a secret symbol of their faith. Well, I mean, your face. What the? Oh, Egyptian. The Egyptian tablet. Or plaque. A plaque which translates to, The many shall suffer for the sins of one. Oh. Wow. Oh. Well, there's Al. But I want to keep looking. Ah, oh, Sumerian. A plaque bearing the cuneiform inscription, Nurgle the Fierce One. A strange stone object in the shape of a suitcase. We'll probably never know what this was for. Yeah, that's true. Sumerian plaque. A Sumerian plaque written in, what's that, cuneiform? Which translates to, The sins of the one shall become the suffering of the many. So we have Sumerian. God, who is that? What Sumerian believe in? I wonder the Egyptians were so messed up. What's up, bro? Your head's a little messed up. What's this one? Greek. A plaque bearing Greek inscription, Hades, Lord of Many. So the Greek plaque's not in here? I remember they're up here. Do we have to auto talk to Al? Can we sneak around? Oh, we can. No! There you are. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, there's one more person I wanted to introduce you to. I think you know her. Oh. <laughs> Sorry if I frightened you. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, long time. <laughs> Wait. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Persephone, former goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. And now, a regular mortal. I wow. wanted to meet you in person. And thank you for freeing all these people. And me. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. Wow, okay, yeah, let's go through all this. Indeed. <clears throat> Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control their tongues and whisper to you when he was distracted. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. You did what you could, thank you. Yeah, time loop? So with that lady... I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of the cycle of life. Oh. And After witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over thousands of years, I knew this generation, the final wave, would not survive. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. So I whispered to Sentius in secret. Telling him the prayer required to create a portal in the huh. I knew the danger of humans being corrupted by godly power. And so I put a safeguard in place. I required the creator of the portal to sacrifice their own life. So that it could only be used selflessly to help others. What I did not anticipate is that Sentius would retain his accumulated memories from each previous day. And as a veteran soldier, he had long since shed his fear of death. He quickly discovered that he could, in effect, prolong his own life indefinitely by exploiting the cycle. Yeah. Of course, once I had taught him the prayer, I could not unteach him. And there was little I could do but wait for someone like you to come along and see him for what he was. We were all fortunate you came along when you did. Yep, yeah, sucks for what happened to him. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him. And I rather hope it stays that huh. way. Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. She wouldn't huh. say what it was. But I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. 
I imagine we all will. One day. Huh. Interesting. And you. Although it feels like I've known you forever. Oh, and one last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues scattered throughout the city? Oh, yeah. Good. Because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Of all the heroes who ever journeyed to the underworld in return, none came close to Whoa. each other. Whoa! Hercules, Orpheus, Theseus, and the Aeneas have been proud. Are those all the people who were golden statues in the city? Oh. Ending 4 of 4. That's the, the final good ending. Oh. What's the other ending? Oh, there's more endings. Was that it? There it is! We finished The Forgotten City, the first Let's Play on this channel. This was a... Oh, look, all the faces. This was a very cool game. I liked it, even though it was very... Dialogue-driven. Um, had a little action with the gold statues. It, it was a really good game. I got sucked into it because there was a lot of, I don't know, there's just a lot of mystery to it. And what, and the, well, there's still some mystery to it on some things I want to, you know, questions I didn't get answered. Oh, look, it has the pictures of the people who voiced ancient Roman god, the assassin. Look at outward. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Andreas Williams looks like Daisius a little bit. Richard Bunn. Huh, that's cool. Just kind of looking at all this. All these people's pictures. That's pretty cool how they put all the pictures of the voice actors in for the game. Because there wasn't many of them. That's really cool. So, yeah, this was a really cool game. Um, I really liked it and fell into it pretty quick and couldn't get enough of it. Uh, I'm really glad I played it. Uh, so, just to let you know, this was a long finale episode, huh? But we finished up the game, so it was worth it. We do have... I do have a new game in the mix already, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. We're just... You're just going to have to wait till I start uploading it to see what it is. But everyone... Yeah, I guess I guess that's about it. Uh, yeah, that's... that's I don't know. I'm still a little scatterbrained. I'll probably think of more to say after I end this recording and be like, Darn it, I should have said that. Yeah, but maybe I'll say it some other time. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really enjoyed this series and I hope you did as well. And as we move on to the next series, probably here a little after. I'll probably take a small break. But there's still more to this game. There were three other endings we could get. And I'm going to be covering those three other other endings in the future. Because I want to know what happens. Do you? <laughs> yeah, but everyone, that's going to be it again. Thank you all so much for watching. And I really do hope you enjoyed this game as much as I did. And I hope you stick around to see what we got going on next on the channel. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say thank you enough. But hey, I hope you all have a good one, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.